Welcome to Ju Sun Gaming. And today we return once again into the bridge to finish the remaining achievements we need to do to fully 100% into the bridge. The remaining ones are two and three island victories with a circuit squad, but I would like to say to you guys right now that the shorter the game length the run is, the more the harder it is for the secret squad to win with it. Just imagine the two island victory run. We're lacking cores to fully upgrade at the very least the hornets or even the scarabs main weaponry. But we must make do. I love this color palette on them. The hazardous mechs color palette on them doesn't work that much because it really looks they look like they are they look like normal vec with that color palette. No one's talking. Most likely we want to finish off on um well it depends. We'll see because we really want the two island victory to be finished first. Because that's a doozy. So we need a godlike first island victory. Hmm. The problem here is even if the enemies here are softer in general, the scion here is going to be not good. This is basically the same problem as Flame Behemoths, but without Kazakhlet Kilik. Our damage is negated by that Scion so many times. And of course, it doesn't help that the leader is... You don't want this leader to be on your first island, seriously. People say it's a Scion Abomination or the Spider Leader, but this is equally demanding, especially if your squad doesn't have the firepower. Hmm... Oh no. The thing is, this is the... This is our second best solution. And the problem here specifically is... It's a spider leader. But we need to try. Because if we manage, most likely we won't, to upgrade Hornet's power-up. I think we need to put the core specifically on the Scarab first. Because we need the displacement powers of this plus one tile. We have plenty of water. We could actually take advantage of this. I just hope... Oh wow, this is like the dream, the dream first turn for me. We managed to skim them down to the bare minimum. Okay, let's continue. We need to get the Horde as as many kills as possible so this is pretty much the boost we need it's a 5 hp boost 5 xp boost here comes a scion leader i mean the scion oh my thank you that was perfect timing on your end that's going to boost up a lot of xp Yeah, I need the horn to get it. Even if it's not um it's not our beloved. Even if it isn't our beloved, wonderful, delicious, nutritious mech reactor, we still need to attempt. You'd never know. This is a good boost. Uh, 
How do we deal with this? How can we put him on water? This is how we put him on water. Oh yeah, thank you for the pools of water. That actually really really helps. We are very very near in upgrading our Hornet. Because by that point, we know now who we're going to prioritize on the only possible pod we get on this island. Destroy the dam and kill seven enemies. We might need to avoid this. Killing seven enemies with this squad is a death sentence sometimes. There's no scorpions but the volatile back, so let's just take advantage of him being far away. There's the there's the pod. Let's give the goo the the XP for now. Let's not close off all the... Oh no, I need to save him. Yeah, let's just displace this guy. Oh dear, I can't let the Firefly get this actually. Let's let the goo act. Let's the Scarab kill this guy instead. Because leveling him up is also pretty nice. Let's be careful not to kill any of them. Let's be careful. Okay, good. None of them are scorpions. Oh dear. Okay, the goo will most I mean the scar will most likely do this. And you know, you know what my solution is. Huh. No, 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 no. If I put him there, he's going to block and die. Is that a good solution though? It kills off one scar. What I what I want I mean my initial solution is damage push. This Charges, push. He's left here to block the Vex spawn and the attack. That would waste 6 experience though. The other solution is just... Hmm... To use the Hornet to block the Vex. Use the Hornet to block this shot. But that would mean more Vex to deal with. Strictly speaking, we don't even need the Techno build to get all the XP in the world. You know what? More mechs the better, and we really don't need to rush this stuff. This is going to be our solution. Yes.
We have so many a-holes. One, two, three. The problem here is we can only... We can use the goo to displace this. Kill this guy off. But what can the scarab help? It does kill off this guy. Either way, we're losing one grid. That's certain. And that's the problem. Okay, let's plan now. How we're going to... Most likely this guy will be targeting this. So we need the hornet to deal damage somewhere else. Most likely this. We do this. At the very least, he got that. He gets that. And let's just displace this guy. Am I stupid? Oh my god! I can't believe that happened. I just reset the turn. You know what? Fine. This is the bloodiness that I came to expect. We're just going to recover one of the damaged grid anyway. I forgot this existed. My goodness. Okay. They gave me a freebie. I salute you. Thank you. Thank you. It's quite a shame that you need the core here. So here's the thing guys. We are not going to use the cores just yet. We're not going to place it there. We need to know the first skill the Techno Hornet gets because if it's not Mech Reactor, we're going to give the core to the Techno Scarab because we need the Explosive Goo plus one tile to really really mitigate a lot of spider eggs on the boss fight. Defend the satellite launches. This is fine. Clear your support is fine as well. Let's go. We also need this carob to be in on the action because... Well, actually, he can go to the back. We do this. Get out XP. And of course, with this move, that kills them all off. We need the Scion dead anyway. Oh, they really, really want that, huh? Well, that's not going to happen, you know. You need to XP, okay. <sighs> the worst case scenario happened. With that said, that means we're going to give... Let's block a back spawn. We're going to give the core to the Techno Scarab. There's no way for us to get a plus two core, I mean another core on a single island. Best move. Mac HP, man. Yeah, I, I was just lucky on that first run to have been able to 
get those wonderful two mech reactors. It was it was already a blessed run. Still, I want to give almost all of the XP on these two because them getting mech reactors are a lot better. Well, the thing is, yeah, it takes double the experience now, <laughs> which is huge. Still, we want to give them almost all the XP. None of the skills of the of the beetle is going to help us in this run. We don't have the luxury of giving cores to the beetle when we're one 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 island off. With that said though, let's see if we can get most likely we won't because if I remember correctly the data of the game, the first two islands don't even have two possible pods. It's usually one always. Let's see. Based on our luck, anything goes. Okay. With one single bound, we killed these two. See? And now we soften this guy up. What do you mean by soften? This is pure brutality. Let's just use this time to non to keep keep to keep him going. Let's just put fire here. Let's put him on the center. This is our strongest damage yet. That frees you. Everything just for that. <laughs> All that push. Oh man, how dare you. I can't even use a single shot of this guy. This guy's dead. Yeah, let's just do this instead. And get him near. He's going to finish off this guy in the next possible turns. It's alright. There's no moves, there's no moves. Not strictly speaking, whoops, I can do this actually. So we still get the 5 XP shared. There we go. <laughs> this is pretty much the only squad I know that's really really hungry for XP way too much just because you are in the mercy of the mech reactor skill sets. Okay, we only have one core. We need this. We need all the displacement we can ask for. Oh, nice! We can actually start fires with that. Oh, 
Oh, this won't actually start the fire. But at the very least, I'm deal dealt two damage and controlled almost every single thing. Oh no, here comes the Scion. This is quite not good. We're slowly losing our lead. Because this sign is making everyone so tanky. We need good placements for strong pushes. Okay, that's perfect. That's very, very perfect for us. There we go. What if I do this? Yeah, this kills him off. So let's just kill this guy off now. Oh, nice. This is nice. <laughs> the beetle is getting some XP now. Let's just ignore this. We need to we need to prioritize the one damaging. Oh man, going there is a death sentence. How can I take how can I kill this guy? That's going to burn him. Oh man. I really want this guy dead. But any decisions to push him onto the fire leads to death. You know what? I think this is the simplest way to kill him. Simplest way. <laughs> we lost only one grid. That's quite amazing for us. We don't like that. We're selling Chen wrong. We're selling this too. We don't need this. We don't need this. The thing is, we might make a case for boosters because our beetle is really, really hindered. We might make made a case for that. The boosters will help the beetle be, at the very least, relevant. So we're buying this. Or the beetle. And... Everything else is a core. Now we put this here, one core goes to him. And of course, priorities here. Now, next priorities are three cores here. Right now, since we got a good start. No, no. In any run, it's always the first island, whether it be two island or three island. I think let's just go with a three island here. We do have two damage now. But we don't have enough damage for the scorpion leader still. The borrowers. Crabs. Armored scions.
I can manage the the lead. I think my decision is now strictly speaking based on the leaders because we now have the damage to kill off any scions ASAP. The damage coming from the Hornet. Still limiting, but. Robot factories, what a horse. What a farce. I hate robot factories, but we need. We need to do this. Wow, really? Yeah, that's the best case we can ever ask for. It's going to be a bit rough. We need to take advantage of the Scion buff. Until it's no longer advantageous for us. For example, I think, yeah. Let's consider now our options here. We can use the boosters here now just to displace these two idiots, but that wouldn't kill the Hornet, bro. This does kill it, but we need this guy dead first. Oh no 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 no! That's the, the beauty of the Hornet, he can push this guy away. So the explosion is out of reach, that's perfect. Now we need to displace these two a-holes. Easy enough, but I really want to attempt kills. We can kill this guy, but the explosion will set it off, will set it off. So we can't just drown this guy off. This, fortunately enough, displaces a lot of problems. So we can start damaging the Scion. And now he's dead. That's the plus one tile of the Scion, of the Scarab, of the Techno Scarab. Now we can kill him off in one go. How do we... I mean, dealing damage here is just a regularity, but I really want to kill this guy off. I can't. I can't do that, however. I don't have buildings immune on any of these guys. That kills him off. We're going to be very very overwhelmed soon because we don't have the mechs actually being good targets. Not again. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. The only thing happening here is it frees up this guy. But we don't need to deal with any of these, so I think this is a better move. It kills off the mech. The bot. We don't need to deal with any of these fools. Oh no, we lack move! Damn it! We can only save one. 
No, no, no. What do you mean? I have boosters. This is the reason why we bought boosters. Oh, you silly, silly Jusan. You forgot you had boosters. Oh, hilarious. Hilarious. This is the reason we bought boosters. I knew the value of it. Without Wind Torrent, the Beetle having the boosters is a, a, a second best. It removes his abysmal move. And he has an omnidirectional push. And with that plus core, we're going to go for this, baby. Let's go for next dibs. We are not breaking five buildings out of their eyes. It's it's it has always been an abysmal mission, so let's just do this instead. The scarab, does, the scarab being on this line is no problem. There's our second pod. That's going to accelerate our scarab upgrade. Okay, we need to deal with that. We can ignore this. That's beautiful. Because we can do this. Nice. Now, let's just damage this guy. Now it's dead. All of us get XP. I really, really hope at the very least the beetle gets a mech reactor. The plus move is going to be a huge help. First of all, let's just No, no. That's not a pr that's that's a really really bad solution. We'll do this instead. I want him to block a vex spawn as it's one damage rather than just damaging him normally. This will kill him off, even if it is, uh, even if if even if it sacrifices a an ice mine, it's worth it. Them getting all the XP is pretty good. There's the scion. Yeah, we need to deal with the scion now. I don't have the means to kill this guy. So I'd rather let the goo kill this. So first let's do this. And we can just do this so we can block some vex spawns as well. And of course long range killing. Always a nice. Grid defense, oh my god, this is like, other than the mech HP the Scarab got, this is the worst case scenario, even even mech HP that the Scarab got is not ideal, it's like the least, the second least liked. So how do we kill this guy off? We want any of these guys to kill him off. We can't kill this guy off though. Oh well. Run away little hornet, run away. Okay. We can sell him. More cores. We 
With that said though, I doubt we can get another another pod in this in this map. I'd rather have the perfect than have I mean we do have a lot of AoE, so break fillings out of ice is actually doable. We just need to damage them while they're attacking the grid. That's our main focus as well. For example, we're going to take advantage of the explosion he deals. See? And so, like so. Let's slowly damage this guy as well. That's taking advantage of your environment. Okay, I need to disable these two. This guy is one off of killing. So we'd rather put all of our power into stopping these two. Yep, that's a nice one. That breaks more, we only need to deal with one. One more building. Okay, I can ignore the borrower. Not anymore. Yeah, it's fine for it to be killed off through those means. Now, the remaining breakfield by five buildings, we have done it. Okay, now we need... Okay, it's perfect. The goo, I mean, the scarab can take care of these two. Okay, it seems only the Hornet can kill these. So far, so standard. One more. We really lack the damage. It's like the only thing that improved from Island 1 to Island 2 is having this. Because we are one off, and I doubt we can max him to at the very least get a 33% of a mech reactor. Everything's encased in ice, it's so annoying. That means I can't even use the environment too much. This is the least, actually, this is the least, the least dangerous mission, so we'll take it. That starts off the chain. We really need to deal with this though. I'm thinking, uh, uh, yeah, let's just deal with this. 
deal with this now. Get out of your high horse, Zenith. We are not happy to be doing this either. Let's just kill this guy now. Because no one else can. Not even with the with, with the push. There we go. These are the last two we need to kill. So a start damage here is good. And I need to relocate this guy a bit. Let's not push him too far away. And let's look let's look at their XP. Okay, I think yeah, this needs to happen because this is going to kill not kill that guy off if I don't do that. So this is going to be a group effort on these two. Borrowers, I just realized the borrowers are basically the the most annoying thing is to kill all enemies before they retreat, especially if it is an alpha borrower. Because that means every single attack you can only do about you can you need at least three turns with two damage just to kill him off. Beta leader, okay. We only have these horde. I mean, this is the same layout I've fought the beta leader in the past. My goodness. I need the scarab to be on this axis because this is going to be a bothersome affair. Yeah, let's slowly grind them to dust. That deals a lot of damage to those tanky, tanky idiots. Okay, I can ignore this. Basically, I need the Hornet to kill these two. Because they are targeting very, very necessary buildings. Mech move. It's not even helpful. I mean, it is helpful. I'm very sorry about that. Do not be... Up you weren't. Yeah, let's put you there for now. There we go. Slowly but surely, he's trapping himself with the fire, so he's going to have limited attacks. Yep, the same. That kills him off. This does so much. 
All hail to the king. The king that is explosive goo. With this... Yeah, another death there. Okay, we need to kill the scion. Of course, most likely you're going to kill off the scion using this bad boy. And now we're going to use explosive goo. Oh man, I can't believe I'm killing the borrower with the ex explosive goo. He didn't even get max there. But we successfully repelled the attack. Good enough. Kickoff booster is not necessary. Another pilot bites the dust for us to sell. Smoke bomb? Nope. 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 None of these. So we'd rather just... We're going to keep the pilots right now. We're going for a 3 island victory here, folks. With this, we now have the damage. And now we need to allocate all of our power in this. For now, we're going to put them here. <laughs> we have finished upgrading the explosive goo. The strongest weapon there is. There ever was and there, were, and there ever will be. Unless, of course, Subset Games releases an expansion that make that will make me think otherwise so but guys i think that's enough for today's episode i hope you've enjoyed this arc of the secret squad join me in the next one where we are going to finish off our three island victory and one step closer to fully 100 percent into the breach completely so see you guys in the next episode